With this video I'm going to give you a quick introduction of how to set up a really simple screen. The first thing you have to do is select a primary factor. This can be evaluation measure or a quality measure depending on what you would like to screen for. I'm just going to select earnings yield which is EBIT to enterprise value and then set the range so that the screener shows me the top 40% of companies in terms of earnings yield, highest earnings yield or undervalued companies. As a secondary factor, I'm going to select a quality factor, the Petrovsky F-score, which you can see over here. And just and here I just into this in the screen I just want to exclude the companies with a low Petrovsky F score. That means the F score say on the let's say the top 50% of Petrovsky. So between zero and nine, it'll select all the companies from five to nine in the screen. And then I'm not going to select a third factor or a fourth factor, which you can select usually quality factors. And then I'm going to quickly have a look at the country selector. I'm going to just select a few countries, say in Europe. So I'm going to have Austria, Belgium, Canada, Denmark, Finland, France, Germany, Great Britain. And then I still want to select the United States and then Switzerland, the Netherlands and Spain. As you can see, 12 countries were selected. My portfolio currency is uh, Euro. So I want to select Euros and the Euro currency that you select here pertains to trading volume as well as market value. I want companies that are relatively liquid. So I want companies with a trading volume of 250,000 a day. Market value, I'm just gonna keep at 65 million. Although if you look at companies trading 250,000 a day, it should be a lot larger companies. It should bring up a lot of larger companies than the 65 million there. I'm not going to select any specific or uncheck any specific sectors. With the financial statement date, you can choose companies that have recently updated their financials. Or if you leave them on all, you'll get all companies. The securities field allows you to type in the name of a company and it'll give you the indicators of the columns you've selected. The only thing to run the screen now is for you to click on filter and you'll see the little blue line working there which means the screen is working okay there it's already finished and there you can see the results so we want to search by company and then sort the column by earnings yield okay that's the lowest earnings yield just click again to sort by earnings yield and have the highest first Okay, there you can see it's maybe a little bit of an outlier, but here you can see the country. There's the country, little flag to tell you where it is quickly, or the name of the company, sorry, flag to tell you where it is. There you can see the ticker, and the nice thing about the ticker, if you want to find out anything about this company, if you click here, it'll open up another window that'll take you to the Google Finance page where you can read a little bit about the company and what it does. You can then quickly go back to the screener and then you can have, let's just go through these fields here. You can select the columns you want to display. Here you can export to Excel. You can save this template so that next time you want to call it up, you can just click on one. You can just load the template and it will load all these, these criteria that you selected before. And if any of the terms are unclear, you can just click on the online glossary, which will take you to, let me show you, the glossary page where you can look at say cash flow to capex and it'll give you an explanation of exactly what this ratio looks like. 